tip of brushing your knees. remember the walking meditation I'm aware that I'm in my standing leg lower hip to the front slightly bent knee evenly distributed weight to the soles of my feet foot standing legs foot and even the little balls of your toes, you know, they are really important for balance. The other foot heel is lifted up, the front bowls and the tiny bowls of the toes of the three legs foot are in the height of your standing foot arc. No? Very narrow. So I'm aware of all this. <laughs> I'm aware that I'm breathing to my belly, that I'm able to breathe freely. Everything is nicely balanced, you know, I'm feeling good, okay. I'm lifting up, I'm aware that I'm lifting up my free foot. I'm aware that I'm moving my free foot to the front. I'm aware that I'm putting my free foot's soul to the earth and so forth, you know. We are not talking in our heads. It's just an explanation how fine your awareness is within this walking meditation. You know, you're always coming back to very subtle micro movement segments, you know? So that's more a walking meditation and that's what we are in need here for our Qigong and Tai Chi. So that we are able to do the snapshots as relaxation clouds. It's not a fixed pose. In yoga also, there's never a fixed pose. You're always relaxing, you know. Some mistaken way in yoga, you know. The way into the pose, moving and relaxing while in the pose, and moving and relaxing, relaxed out of the pose. That's also yoga. You open up your nadis, getting your chakras running and so forth. Open up your chakras. It's the same, you know. <laughs> it's body perception, body awareness. Okay as loose as I can get for today, for this moment. Then the next pose, you know, the next set, the snapshot. Yes, use your tactile, inf tactile information. Put your hand to your ear, put your thumb to your solar plexus, to your rib cage completely in the standing leg, relax. It's really important because there's more weight now in your leg. Take care of the angle of your hip. Should be pointing to the foot tip of your standing leg. Relax, 
try to find a more relaxed position throughout the whole body. So second snapshot. Then the third snapshot. Try to loosen up the arm, any tension. the third snapshot back with your weight in the back leg former standing leg relax of course lower the chi ball just by relaxing, you know, take care of your feelings in your knee. It's really challenging. If it's too challenging, come to the basic standing position and loosen up and some, or something. What you are are in need of, you know. You don't have to hold anything, you know. If you need some rela relaxation, get out of this pose and do whatever you need. If you like to sit on the floor, on the ground, on the meadow, do it, you know. When you are relaxed in this position, completely in the standing leg, then you can open up in the hip joint a little bit to prepare for the other side. You know? And so forth. Of course you can even do this yoga asana like relaxation for the snapshots for a longer period I would advise it you know, as long as you are familiar with your own hindrances especially boredom so it's really good to develop this inner smile while learning you know stay Playful, curious with every movement, with every second. You know? Yes, just one brief round walking. You know, the, the basic walking, you might have to look it up. And the uh, hand and arm movements to be aware of every sub snapshot you know relax relax 
take care of the meadow. Let the plants live. Walking around. And so forth. No. That's really good to perform in the loop, but as I said, you know, and we are not closing with this, even if we are beginning next Saturday with playing the lute, I think we will perform the loop, playing the pipa is the next form, or the lute or the guitar, it's a lute-like instrument, I might link a video in the appropriate video in the next session. But I think we will tie it together, you know, walking with brushing the knee three times, then this playing the lute or playing the pipa and then starting over again and performing this in a loop. It's a little bit more complex, but it's really good to put these loops together, you know, so that you are not getting so fast in the boredom state. <laughs> yes. And getting used to it. And that you are, it's not so complicated and you are, might be able to develop the inner smile while learning and performing. And that's our aim, you know. For some of you, it might be not your way. You might like more complex stuff or, or it's already too complex. But that's up to you. I think just a little Yes, just a little breathing exercise. And it's it's even not really an exercise, you know, it's more an exercise of being aware how do you breathe? Relax. Now there, there are some, I think, some of these exercises already on YouTube. So find a comfortable sitting position, as you like. For this exercise you might even lay on the ground, if you like. You know. Loosen up your belt and all we are doing for the first month or so is just putting your awareness to your bodily and mental feelings, mental, bodily and mental feelings, and get used to your own breathing pattern, really. You know already the bottle breath would be fine, but don't force anything. Play around a little bit if you like to. call it. We are also learning the, the inner smile and that's a very subtle form of 
fun if you like it's oh, it's not so rough it's really subtle you know very very subtle because you can't force it it will come by itself it's really the reward coming by itself you're relaxed, your mind is quiet by itself, feeling comfortable, and then this inner smile will sneaking out from within yourself, mostly from your heart, you know, open up your heart. Kind, mindful and calm. And therefore you need this playful curiosity. Because it's an involuntary pattern, you know. Also the muscles are involuntary, voluntary. You just notice when you are able to breathe freely. That's good to remember. Because that's the direction, you know, to a complete breath. And that's something you are learning and will perform subconscious the whole day long. You only can notice that you are nearer, all the time nearer to um, clear thinking and to this subtle form of happiness, you know. The inner smile will come throughout the day more and more often. And that's the direction to mental and physical health, you know. Of course, if you have rough stuff, go to the specialist. But when you're done with them, this might be the way for you. I hope so. Sit around with your eyes closed and do a little meditation because there's no doing in meditation but that's another thing. Have a nice day and really, really, really develop your inner smile because that's at least our way I hope that's your way too. Thank you.